Hello guys and welcome back to another Xbox 360 World of Tanks replay with me, Ben. We are the Beard Guys and today we're on Himmelsdorf. It's night time and I'm in a tier 9 Soviet tank destroyer with a massive gun. So this is the Object 704. Really fun tank, haven't had it too long. One of those tanks that I'm really enjoying just because I just I don't care if I get bottom tier and I kind of felt the same the one below this the ISU 152 didn't really care if I got in a tier 10 battle I mean it's hit points were, were crappy for tier 10 that that was a bit much but the gun was fine I mean a fully upgraded ISU 152 it's got the BL10 it's pretty much the same gun as this tank just um, a bit less accurate and uh, not quite as good rate of fire but you've got a gun that can handle tier 10s on a on a tier 8 tank Unfortunately, you only have a thousand hit points and your armor is um, complete toilet paper, but but other than that <laughs> And there goes the awful panther 40 seconds into the game Slightly the slightly less awful panther now it got some buffs in the recent 1.10 uh, patch but um This was pre patch, but um, I don't imagine it would have survived uh, with its buffs anyway not against a gun like that. But yeah, so I enjoyed the the, the ICU-152 was a great tank and, and I was happy enough to play in tier bat 10 battles with it. And so getting this tank, which is just the gun, same gun but slightly better. Better armor, so you're a bit bouncier. Better mobility. And a ridiculous 600 more hit points. So I think the ICU-152 has 1,040 hit points or some sort of strange number. This has got 1,600 hit points. It makes a huge difference. So, I wouldn't expect this to uh, get a nice damage the ammo rack of the, the E1 there. Dangerous autoloader. Dangerous dead autoloader now. Slightly less dangerous. So it's not normally a map that would be ideal for, um, for a tank like this. You'd... It's this kind of tank where you want to stay at range where you don't get spotted, which obviously is pretty um, pretty difficult on Himmelsdorf. It's all pretty close quarters. That's why I headed over here. Normally I'm straight up onto the uh, straight up to the castle when I play Himmelsdorf, but I thought I'd come over this side. Um, I'm platooned up with Liam with Lammy. He's in um, he's in his light tank. I think he must be in an awful panther, a fellow awful panther. Yeah, there he is, having a little car crash. And so we've come over here, so I thought maybe he can try and spot people, I can shoot them, he'll get some nice spotting points. But um, but our team's kind of fallen uh, fallen back pretty badly already. See, they've got one, they've got two TDs, or three TDs and a heavy that are kind of um, pushing around through on our flag, really. They haven't really sent anyone up on the hill very much, so they've just pushed straight down the middle. So I've decided to spin round. Decided that we need a bit of help back at the base here. And see this guy pelting up the road. Hoping he'd just keep going there so I could smash him in the side, but, um, but not quite so fortunate. So I'm just sort of adjusting to try and work out the best way to go. I was thinking about going back for that heavy around the corner, but it looks like we've got him covered. There's three tanks around him. They should be able to deal with him just fine, and we've got a lot of tanks pushing our flag now, so I'm getting a spot, wait for them. They shouldn't, don't think they'll know I'm here, so if I just sit here and wait for them, hopefully they'll push up, and we get a nice easy shot on them. There we go, <laughs> take out an M103, no problem. So you notice I'm not running too much uh, premium and, and HE ammo on this tank. I, I'm not sure I've ever fired a, a nice shot on the low bay there. I'm not sure I've ever um, fired a premium shell on this tank. It's just the penetration is just fine. It hardly ever bounces. And when it does bounce, it's because it's it's hitting something like some outrageously thick gunman that, that it, it probably wouldn't even wouldn't even pen with with premium ammo anyway. So I just it's just really not worth it. I've got it there because I guess you never know, but. But that hasn't really come up yet. HE, I've never really fired either. It's not really, um, not really a huge amount of point. Even when you're trying to 
break someone, stop someone capping the flag in this thing, you've, you've it's got such a high chance of penning people, it's probably not worth worrying about HE. So this guy's, um, he's a bit more cautious and wise than the uh, M103, he's waiting to see what happens. This guy, ooh, that was tight. Nearly threw himself straight out into danger there. And that T25 around the corner is getting shots off. We're down to, to four against six here. They've got we've got no heavy tanks left. Very thin shot on the on the Air Panther there. Or the Ape Jag Panther, I think that was, or was that the T20? I think that was the T25, sorry. A very, very tight shot there, but hit the other tank. But they've not really uh expected them to rush me and they didn't, so get pretty lucky there and smash run through that little gap into the T25 making a nice little um, wall of dead tanks at the end of this corridor here so Lammy's been killed now unfortunately we're down to three versus four they got their Yag Panther around the corner I'm just trying to uh, trying to get myself in a position to shoot this guy I mean, he's not really too much of a threat but I don't want to eat a shot from him if I can help it I want as much health as I can on three kills already, it's going pretty well. We've got five damage shots, and there we go, he bounced on me. Which was pretty likely to happen, to be fair. Now, here's a more dangerous tank, the ISU-152, the one that I was just talking about how, how awesome it is. Puts a shot that gets eaten by my tracks. I don't know what gun he's got. Bit unlucky there. But I'm assuming by the fact that he's backing off, he's got a pretty long reload. Can be my only assumption. I'm not good at telling what guns tanks have got by just by looking at them at distance like that. Some of the guys I play with, um, they can tell you what package everyone has got just by a quick glance at the tank. Um, I'm not so not so good at that. And that was, I don't know whether to blame poor, poor shooting on my part or um, or a bit of bad luck. I probably should have aimed that a bit more ahead of him. I was assuming he'd come around the corner and stop and aim a shot. Um, unfortunately he didn't but he allows me to reload I thought I, it's probably not what I would have done in his um, case I would have tried to get a shot away but he allows me to reload I'm going to move in because I know he hits me there for um, really unlucky there I think that must have hit the hit the gun mallet he hit me there for what 400 health 350 health so I can only assume he's firing either HE or or with that reload time, he must have the, um, not the top gun. So as soon as I fired, I'm tucking myself in here, just making the angle on it a bit harder. It's definitely not, not, uh, not penning me there. Nice little rich shade. And that can't be the BL-10 with, um, with that quick reload that he's got there. So I'm down to 850 health, I'm on 5 kills, they've got two heavy tanks left and we've got we got a couple of TDs and an artillery so I'm feeling pretty confident but you've always got to be cautious you don't want to in this sort of situation you you've got to go and hunt them down and you don't want to drift too far from the cap in case you get um you get quick capped although this is quite a small map so it's pretty easy to um to tear it across the battlefield to break a cap So I realise here, I think I've got spotted by someone in the middle, but I initially decide to push the Tiger. Realise he's quite a long way away, and I can see that other guy just moving into the courtyard. And now I'm unspotted. I think, well, he probably thinks I'm going off over that way. He probably thinks he's safe for a while. So let's, um, let's turn around and give him a little surprise. I think it's only uh, like a, a Black Prince or something. It's pretty um, pretty low tier. There is a Black Prince on no health, poor guy. Nine health. Could probably have rammed him from nine health. So we're down to 2v1. He's uh, The Tiger has taken out our artillery. That's Ronin47R coming online, fellow YouTuber. 
Definitely recommend checking out his channel. He does some great news updates and other videos. Tank reviews, premium tank reviews if you want to get any of the new Chinese premium tanks. Ronin is your man to go to. So here's the Tiger. To be fair, he gets wise. He, he tries to go for it. I go for it. Hit the wall. No luck this time. Already got my top gun. But can I save my teammate? No. No, I can't. So though I feel pretty confident here, he's pretty screwed up. Um, I, You never know. I've still got a repair kit as well. But if he tracks me... Well... If he tracks me. So, there you go. He didn't track me. Um, he got blown up by, by a massive 152mm shell. So there we go. We got 70 gram. We got 6,500 XP with a times 2. That's with an extra 1,000 for, um, for an op there. And a bit of a silver bonus from an op as well. High caliber. Top gun, I believe, we got as well. 7 kills will be a Devastator, I believe. And there's the Devastator. And all the rest of it. So 5,000 damage, 7 kills, 1,700 XP. Very good round there. Really pleased with that. Especially for, for a map, like I said, it's not traditionally... Um, doesn't really lend itself traditionally to, to those kind of TDs that want to stay hidden. Don't have amazing armor. But yeah, yeah, great fun round. Hope you enjoyed that. If you did enjoy that video, please consider dropping a like on the video, subscribing to the channel, or watching some other content and see if you like that. We'd really appreciate it, and it does help us out a lot. Nice one. I'm Ben, we're the Beard Guys, and I'll catch you next time. Mm -hmm.